Good morning, everyone. This is Chris from the 365. I am here in beautiful downtown Orville right now. Um, I thought I would start out saying, hey, today's the day. We are going to Barbados today. So I just thought I'd show you what we're going in. Behind me is the enormous van that we rented. So there's 10 of us going all total. We're going to fit seven of us or eight of us in this thing right now. Just thought I'd show you that. Uh, I'm gonna go into the studio, show you what I'm bringing with me to record all this stuff, uh, tell you about the river totals before I go, and then we're off to Barbados. I hope that you guys all wanna come watch because we're really excited to show you guys what Barbados looks like, what a bunch of Orville people look like in Barbados, and how much fun it can be to just travel and have a good time overall, even when your town has some small problems, like a dam that's having a problem right now. but. That is getting fixed. I have high confidence that by the time I get back, there'll be some enormously great news about the dam. So anyway, I will see you in the studio in just a couple seconds here. It'll be real quick like this. Whoa, you're back already? Cool. Anyway, so we're going to Barbados. First today, we're flying out uh, from San Francisco, driving that big, huge van I just showed you, uh, going to San Francisco, going from San Francisco to Florida, and then to Barbados. Once we land in Barbados, we're gonna stay in Barbados for seven days at this beautiful place called Shutters there. It's actually a house that we rented out from a very nice lady. She's already given us all the details. I know there's Wi-Fi there, so I'll at least get, be able to get reports out while I'm there. Then, after those seven days, we're gonna go on a cruise, a Carnival Cruise Line. I'm gonna turn my eyes towards the screen here because I can't seem to remember locations so well. But, so we're going on a seven day cruise to the Caribbean, the Southern Caribbean, and we are going to be in St. Lucia, I'm sorry, St. Lucia, I always do that. If my friend Lucia is watching, she loves it when I do that anyway. St. Lucia, then we go to St. Kitts, St. Martin, San Juan, Puerto Rico, which I'm really stoked about because I know that I can fly my drone there because they're under American laws. Uh, and then uh, St. Thomas in the uh, United States of Virgin Islands. So, and then back to Barbados. And then we stay two days in Barbados and then we fly back. All that, we'll be back sometime around the 1st or 2nd of July, but you'll know that because you'll see all of it. I'm gonna detail all of this for you guys, every bit of it. Hopefully you enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it. Um, the next part I'm gonna do, I gotta set up some stuff and then I'll show you all the gear. It's not very much gear, but all the gear I'm taking and the precautions I'm taking to make sure that it'll get through customs and stuff. I know some, uh, if you're not a gearhead, you could probably turn this off right now, but if you are like me, check it out. I got some cool stuff. Okay, bye everybody, I'm back. I've got all my stuff laid out here. So let me go through what each thing is. So this is my Mavic Pro. This is what you've seen all the drone video done with. And uh, this thing flies amazingly and it folds away really small. I'll show you that in a second. This is the controller for the Mavic and two batteries and the, ch um, the home charger. That's all, that's all I'm taking drone wise for this. Let me put this back here for a second. So this, this entire thing will do all the drone video that we have. Um, the reason I chose the Mavic is because, if you look at this real quick, it's like a transformer. It will fold up super, super small. Let's get this all done here. So that is the entire drone when it's all fold, folded up. So that'll be great to use. Um, small, small controller too, two batteries, plus the third one that's on it, that gives me about an hour's flying time. And then of course the charger to charge everything back up. Now this is the Fly More combo that uh, you can get from any DJI store. This contraption here, and the reason Phyllis is filming this for me, this is my Steadicam. So what this does is it takes my smartphone and balances it out. So when I move around, it makes nice smooth video. This is what you've seen lately, most of the nice smooth video for. This is called an Osmo, and it's also from DJI. And all it takes is just this single the single stand, my cell phone, and this stand here will hold it so it's nice and level and flat for time lapses, for motion time lapses, for hyper lapses, for photos. So I'll be using that a lot. Now, the rest of this stuff here, this is all stuff for transportation. So this, the drone will fit in this without the landing gear. So this is a hard case to make sure that the drone doesn't get damaged. I'm gonna take the drone with me through all of customs and everything. So the drone will go right in here, like so. Then the extra batteries, they can either go in this 
or I have some special bags just in case uh, customs get snarky about carrying the batteries around. So these are fireproof bags. I'll probably put the batteries in this more than likely just to make sure that we don't have any problems through customs. So they fit in generally like that. So there's that. Then lastly, we've got the remote and that goes right in here like so. Closes up, nice and protected. So, and then these little pieces, these pieces go over the battery um, terminals. Whenever you fly, you have to have the battery terminals covered. They really don't like it if you don't, just as a precaution, and heck, I'm flying on a plane, I'm always happy to take all the precautions that is needed. So, that's what I have for you. Uh, after this, we'll be going to Barbados, so I might not see, hear from you, or see, I guess would see you guys, for a few hours. It's just supposed to be a 13 hour flight all total, I believe. Well, not total flight, flight time, a nine hour flight, 13 hours total from point to point. So once I get to Barbados, I'll do a video and I'll say hi to all you guys. And let's not forget that this show is about you guys and what's going on back home in Oroville too. I want to show you Barbados, but I also want to make sure that you guys know what's going on in Oroville at the same time. So I'll be doing the river totals every day and I'll be checking out all the information I can on the dam. I'll be asking some of the local reporters to help me out with that stuff. They might not know that yet, but I'm going to definitely ask them that. Uh, so in that vein, today I'm going to tell you that the river level right now is at 813 feet. Let's try that again. Edit. So in that vein, I'm going to tell you that the river, edit two. Let's try that again. In that vein, I'm going to tell you that the lake level is at 812 feet above sea level and that the releases are, are low now. So they're only releasing about 5,000, 5,500 cubic feet per second. There's only about 4,700 cubic feet per second coming into the lake right now. So that's great. So they, uh, it seems to me like everything's starting to even out and that they have a good handle on this. So this sounds like a great time for me to go. Uh, like I said, I'll be gone 14 days and 15, 16 maybe, and I will be back. When I get back, I'll go straight up to the dam if I can and get you a report from there. So either way, I will see you soon. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again, but as soon as I can, I'll be talking to all you guys. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.